Hey there guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another best class setup in Cold War video. Today we are taking another look at the LC-10, which I still think is the best SMG in Cold War right now. It's one of my favorite weapons and it definitely still goes very, very hard. Now, you might consider the KSP to be the best SMG because it does have a faster time to kill up close, out to about 20 meters or so you get that one burst kill. It's a faster killing weapon than the LC-10, but your LC-10 does have a 300 millisecond time to kill out to about 20, 25 meters or so, which is actually respectable. It actually is competitive with some of the best assault rifles in the game, which is pretty ridiculous. Plus, you do get those advanced movement statistics, and the recoil is just so easy to control. Plus, you get 34 rounds by default. So I think the LC-10 is probably the all-rounder, still easiest SMG, and probably the best one to use in the game right now. Just before we do get into it here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on if you have not already done so. We are looking for 5,000 subscribers very soon. If you could help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive. So let's talk about the LC-10 here. This class setup has changed a little bit since we have presented the LC-10 previously. So as usual with these videos, the timestamps will be on the loading bar and of course in the description. So if you are looking for something specific, make sure you do skip to that section. We always start off with our secondaries here though, which we are going with the dual wield Diamantes because they are such a powerful option up close. If you do run out of SMG bullets, you pull these out and blast people away like a shotgun. Attachments are going to be as follows with that sound suppressor to keep us off the radar when we are firing. The barrel of the task force option to give us that little increase to our damage, range, and bullet velocity is pretty massive here. In the body slot, we're going for the 35% increase from the 5 millilowatt laser of the hipfire accuracy. Then the magazine, we want the most amount of bullets to fire with this thing in a pretty fast reload speed, so that's the Salvo 30 round fast mag. And in the stock slot here, we are going for the dual wield option because being able to pull these out at close range and blast people away is very strong here still. In the tactical slot, we are going with the stim shot here because getting that extra chance per life is really, really important means we can continue our gunfights. And then of course, in the lethal slot, we're going with the Semtex. But as you know, you can pretty much choose whatever you do prefer here. Molotov, Tomahawk, C4, and the Frag are all good options in this game still. And then in the field upgrade slot, we're going for the Jammer here. This is my personal preference for denying enemy information on the minimap, which is very, very powerful. But you can pretty much choose whatever you do prefer in this slot as well. Whether you like your field microphone, whether you like your assault pack for whatever reason, trophy system, these are all good options. In the wildcard slot here, we are going for perk greed because we like those six perks. So you don't really need eight attachments on the LC-10 and that is one of the reasons why this is so powerful. And then the perks here, we are going for flak jacket and forward intel. Flak jacket for that explosive resistance as well as that forward intel for getting that extra minimap space as well as being able to see the enemy respawns. In the perk two slot, we're going for assassin and scavenger here, giving us extra information on our minimap and extra points when we do kill people on streaks as well as more bullets when we do kill people and then ninja and ghost here meaning we stay silent and we move around the map very very easily and without being detected by those uavs so the lc10 class that we have got here with these attachments that is a little bit different to how we have presented it previously the attachments have changed in my preference Basically, they did nerf sort of the sprinting movement speed bonuses from some of the grip options. It's a little bit weird now, but this class setup that we still have here is one of the best in the game in terms of the SMG category, as well as the LC-10. So we start off here in the muzzle slot with that infantry compensator for a 12% increase to our vertical recoil control. The vertical recoil control is really, really nice with this particular weapon. It's really just straight up and down. You don't really have to worry about too much side to side movement. So this is a great option to start off with to help shorten that total recoil control. Next, we move to the barrel. The task force option is really the only reliable option to get that better hit detection with that bullet velocity, as well as increasing that damage range quite nicely and giving us a little bit of extra damage on top. In the underbarrel slot, this is where we have changed up. Normally we would run the speed grip, but the sprinting movement speed increase that we get here is not really significant or actually existent it's one of those things where we tested it out a little bit and it doesn't really feel too much fast. 3% isn't a massive boost. So the field agent group does keep us on target here with that vertical recoil control of 6% and then horizontal recoil of 20% is a really nice option to keep us on target. We have featured the magazine previously and this sort of attachment is one that you can choose. It's not really necessary as we do have 34 bullets in the magazine by default. So having a slightly faster reload speed is it's nice, but it's not super necessary here. So you can take a magazine if you do prefer, but you will have to swap out a stock. In the handle slot, we're actually going for the airborne elastic wrap here as well. We normally we will run the Serpent Wrap for that aim down side speed increase of 25%. But this does increase it by 30%, give us 90% flinch resistance, which is really nice for keeping our shots straight when we are taking shots, as well as aiming while going prone. So you can hit some nice drop shots sometimes. The reason we didn't take this previously is because that sprint to fire speed decrease of 15%. But because we're not taking a magazine here, we can take a stock, and that gives us the no stock option an increase of 30%. So any variant of the LC-10 that you put together is going to do quite well, but I think this might be an optimal build at the moment. They keep changing these attachments. They keep changing these, some of these sprinting movement speed statistics to make them a little bit different. So this is probably what I want to go with at the moment. This is a very, very powerful class setup, and we're just going to jump into some gameplay here and have an excellent time with this thing. Alrighty, so you have seen my apocalypse runouts before. Basically, all we have to do on this side of the spawn is get down the left-hand side and hope nobody immediately sprints through here. We should be good. Maybe take out somebody who is sitting here. No, we're good. And potentially take out somebody who is crossing there. Oh, there's a guy just chilling there. So we move. This is what you want to control here. You want to control this building. 
If you control this building, you pretty much control the entire map, which is good. And we got a good thing going on with this class setup here. This is a brilliant, brilliant gun in this game, man. Like, the LC-10 is just one of those weapons where it's just so accurate. So consistent at those close and medium ranges. Like, you get a decent time to kill. It's not the fastest in the SMG category. As we mentioned, the KSP is faster. 220 milliseconds in this game is actually ridiculous. So, yeah, you can't really compete up close with that thing because it's just going to delete you with those one bursts. But that's not for everyone, and it's not really, it's not really an all-purpose weapon. Like, it does have... It's limited use. It's like it can be a little bit difficult to pick people off if they are sitting on, for example, like that head glitch there. You try and burst someone down with that and it's a little bit tough. So this particular weapon, the LC-10 that we've got going on at the moment, man, you already know how strong this thing is. It's so, so great. Oh, oh nice and close there with the pistols. Always a good option to pull out. Oh, yeah, good. Good. Up the stairs. He is not actually aware of what's going on. That's good. All right, we'll push around this side again. Always hit that reload. We don't have that super fast reload as we have done previously, but we do have more sprint to fire speed. So we are better overall. Like in terms of actual combat statistics, we are better overall, but we can get a little oh, we can get a little trapped sometimes with having having to reload and it being a little slower than we're used to, but it is something that you sort of have to adjust to. You can make it work. I am I was gonna say I probably shouldn't go in here, but we did anyway. <laughs> All right, there's a guy. No, he's not there anymore. Let's just keep checking the minimap. We haven't played Call of Duty for a couple of days, so I'm a little rusty. You see that I'm not hitting much shots anymore. A little bit rusty. I haven't played in a few days. We've been we've been out doing other stuff. Uh, nice, got that guy there. Nice little headshot on him. Makes it very very easy to get those kills when you are getting those kills with the. Oh, sorry, the head. Oh, okay, there's guys behind us. Why was there guys behind us? He just jumped up. Okay. Alright, that guy just jumps straight into us there. There's a guy up in that platform. Little, little shot on him and let's leave. You gotta know when to run away in these games, man. That's that's one of the major tips of Call of Duty that I got for you. You gotta know when to run away. I think there's another guy here. Yeah, there is. Eh. Teammate, come through. Teammate didn't come through! Everyone in this game is a coward. I don't understand why. Like, everyone's just a coward in this game. You literally respawn in one second. Just run. <laughs> like, just run. Go for it, dude. Go for the shot. Let's get him. That guy killed us before and was a little bit of... Ooh. No! No, he followed us. A lot of the Season 3 stuff that has come out has been quite good. The PPSH isn't the strongest. Oh, we are stuck here. This is bad. Yeah, I knew it was stuck. That was just a bad position. To have somebody coming across the top of the wall there and then somebody coming down the part, it just, it weren't good. But yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of the Season 3 stuff has been quite good. Like, there's a lot of good stuff going on in Call of Duty right now. The Season 3 guns are all a lot of fun to... That's going to stick that guy. Poor fella. A lot of the Season 3 guns are quite good. The Swiss... Is the Swiss? The Swiss K31? Which is a strange name, but... And I, that's probably why I can never remember it, but it, it is what it is. I like that thing. Not the most powerful sniper in the game, it's basically the Pellington 2. And yeah, it's not the most powerful gun in the game, but it is still a lot of fun. Oh man, I got the hiccups. Alrighty, we can't... Ooh, that, yeah, that's a guy we want to kill. That's a guy we want to kill, that's good, that's good. I'm pretty sure there's still... Still guys in this area? No? No? We're good? Okay, okay, that's fine. I thought there would have been guys there. There should be guys... So, like... Where are all the guys? Where are the guys? Where... Is anybody on this map? Like, did everyone just leave? No one there. Okay, we're still good. There's got to be more boys here somewhere. Okay, we got to go. Oh, are you kidding? Ah, oh, just... Pinson, there's nothing I can do about that. It was just... Nothing you can do about getting pinsed like that. Like, when, when that happens, there just isn't anything that you can do. Oh, we got him. Nice. We got him with that strafe run. The strafe run is really, really good. If you've not tried it yet, just throw it on. You'll have a great time with it because it really, really is very, very good. Takes out a lot of those kill streaks, gets a lot of work done, actually gets lots of kills, lasts for about a minute or so. It just. just... Bruh. I'm so upset, man. <laughs> oh, that was. That was bad. Okay, we got that guy. I'm gonna push up on the left-hand side still. Strafe run's still doing its thing. 
Not sure we're going to be able to win this one. We can try. We can go. Tr we can try. We'll get in nice close in quarters and try and actually just. Oh, that's bad. Oh, man. Boys in their gas grenades. The boys in their gas grenades will always make this game hard. Oh, it's just, I think, I feel like we've got unlucky this game. I feel like there's been a couple of situations where we've been in and we just got a little unlucky. And it's like, oh yeah, dude. What did you think was going to happen? Like, what? <laughs> we knew where you were. There's a there's a harp up. <laughs> we still managed to lose. We go 38 and 14. It's not my best game, but... We haven't played for a couple of days and we did okay. So we'll have our final thoughts on this thing in just a second here. So as we saw there, guys, the LC-10 is an absolutely ridiculously powerful SMG in this game. It doesn't have the fastest time to kill in the category. That does belong to the KSP at about a 220 millisecond time to kill up close, which is ridiculous. Like that is so, so fast for this game. This is a respectable time to kill of about 300 milliseconds, which is comparable to something like the Farah 83 as well as the AK-47. But this is an SMG. Being able to compete with those weapons is quite nice. So you get that time to kill out to about 20-ish meters or so, which is really, really nice. I think it's 25 meters off the top of my head. Really, really easy to control recoil. Good movement speed statistics. The strength of fire speed with this thing is actually quite nice. The aim down side speed is good. 34 rounds in the mag. This is a great class setup in the game right now. So make sure you try this out if you haven't already done so. Throw this together and you will be very, very impressed here. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I really do appreciate it. It really does help me out. I know we are looking for 5,000 subscribers very soon. So if you could help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Bye.